Hey everybody, welcome back to World Drum Club. I am Kalani, your host and teacher, and today we have a special teaching artist, Matt Phillipson, author of the Cajon book, highly recommended, is giving you a special World Drum Club lesson on the Cajon as a little drum set. You guys don't want to miss this, so check it out. We'll have an extension of his lesson for patrons at patreon.com slash Kalani. In the meantime, enjoy. Hello, my name is Matt Philipson. I'm a drummer percussionist from Germany. And it's a big honor for me playing for my friend Kalani and this wonderful Drum Club channel. I come up with this versatile percussion instrument, Cajon, I'm sitting on. And this is, maybe you know, a Peruvian instrument, traditional instrument from Peru, 200 years old. And it came to Europe with Paco de Lucia and his percussionist Ruben Dantas in the early 70s. I mostly use the instrument as a small drum set because we got two tones we also have on the drums if we listen to the basic rhythms of a drum beat. First of all, the bass tone. If you lean a bit backward on the instrument, it helps to create the real tone. If this is really hard for you the first time, use a piece of wood, place it below the cajon, lean a bit backward and place your hands on the playboard. The wrist is equal to the edge of the cajon. We start with the bass tone. One, two, really important. My left hand is your right. I'm left-handed, so it is more or less as if you would sit in front of a mirror. So my left hand is your right hand. The strong hand is my left hand. So this is the bass tone. If you watch my hands, I most I always start from the playboard, do a really big movement, have a stiff wrist, flex my hand, and the first part of the hand which hits the playboard is this part. So it means I flex my hand like this. So we got the bass tone, and we end up with the edge tone, the one we need, and it sounds more or less like the snare drum of a real drum set. We got the thumbs on top, index fingers touch each other lightly, we move our hands in front, we hit under the knuckles, never hit your knuckles, under the knuckles, and we create this edge tone, and then we have two different tones, and we do the first combination of the, these both tunes, we talk like a uh, combination of four, four, two, 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 two. Means a whole bar. We start with one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If this is too loud, we're gonna switch to the Peruvian way of playing the cajon. We cup our hands and play with the first part of our fingers and we stick on the playboard but again position is the wrist of my hand is equal to the edge of the cajon we are here one this is how Peruvian musicians mostly play the cajon so that's the reason why I call this Peruvian way of playing the cajon if I play the edge tone, I hit above my knuckles like this and we have the same idea. We start with one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, and then we do both things together, playing the really hard way of playing the instrument loud maybe more or less like we play the conga. It's like one, two, three, four, and we switch to the Peruvian way, which is this one. So it means just with our hands, we're gonna create two different levels, two different dynamics. And we have this, one, two, three, four, stop. Now let's go back to the idea I came 
up with and many players around me did the same. We used the cajon as a small drum set, not playing the traditional rhythms of Peru. Try to accompany a band and substitute a real drum set and have less effort to set up. We just have the cajon, maybe some other sounds later on, we're talking about that, and create a small drum set. We have two tones which are similar to the main instruments of a drum set. We create the bass tone with our strong hand. Now really important again, I sit in front of you. My left hand is your right hand, if you're right-handed. So it's like as if you would sit in front of a mirror. We have the bass tone with our strong hand and the edge tone sounds like the snare drum with our weak hand. So we have the bass tone like a bass drum and the edge tone like a snare drum. One, two, and three, four, and one. This is really simple, and I guess this shouldn't be not really surprising on you for you. So, now, we notice that one instrument is missing, and the instrument which is really, really important, essential for all these basic drum grooves are cymbals. So we need this high, frequent, and also ostinate, always running figure of a symbol. So we don't have symbols, we can help us with a stick. We never use real drumsticks on the cajon. This is definitely destroying your instrument. But what we need is, or what we use, are rods. We take the rod as if we would play traditional like this, play the index finger, and the same with your right hand, if you're right-handed, just do it like this. Bit more in the middle of the, the rod and do the impulse with your index finger. So we have a really light and soft, high movement on the edge of the instrument, not louder than this. And again, we come up with our bass drum and snare drum. Now, in our weak hand, this is a bit challenging, but you get it. Like, together, two, three, we're going to the top. One, two, three, four. Do it together. One. So we have this medium pop rhythm. One, two, three. Up time should be two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. And we can also mix the eighth notes with sixteenths, which creates typical. Higher patterns like one E and a two E and a three or say ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taki. So if you close your eyes, to be honest, it sounds like a real drum set. Play it otherwise. Taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta. So and there are many more options you can do. For example, switch into three ternary style, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Whenever you hit the one, you give the rhythm, the groove, his character. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. So we have a blues. If you play it a bit faster, you reduce the three on one and three. Three, we've got the figure, the triplet, with missing the second eighth note. Shuffle, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Again, the same idea, one, two, three, one, two, three. <coughs> really nice. And faster, one. And up time, something like that. This could be one option. If you want to have some more colors in your strong hand, you can also work with shakers. Shakers are for me wonderful, new color, great idea, super movement, new color, but also challenging. Challenging means everybody thinks he can play a shaker, mostly sounds like that. But this is not how you play a shaker. If you play a shaker, you have a stiff wrist and play the shaker out of your elbow in this horizontal position. So if this is going on, 
the one again is play with my weak hand in the bass and on the edge like one two three four one two three four again i go back to my medium pop rhythm one two three four three four i'll go into this up time one two i do some variations i mix up the eighth notes and the sixteenths one Otherwise, play like this, other direction, starting with the 16th, and so on and so on. This is really challenging. If you start with that, take your time and work just on the shaker. Maybe you place your hand on the lap and do things like this. One, two, do things like that. And then after a while, you come up with some movements on the cajon. This is common, and maybe you know that, but one of... Uh, another add-on is maybe a new instrument for you. We have this. This is a hack stick, which is a two-component instrument. We have, first of all, a frame with a click, played with my heel. And then we have a jingle stick, which comes to that position. And if I play the jingle stick, it sounds like a hi-hat. I play the hack stick because the inventor of the name, uh, the name of the inventor is hack, hack stick. I play it on the strong hand and mount it via Velcro on my cajon like this. Then I'm gonna play the same rhythms we made already, like one, two, three, four. And now you hear a real, real wonderful drum set. We go to two, one, two. We play in three. We play the shuffle thing. And that's what I always love, is creating a small drum set just with a cajon and with a small add-on with a stick, means a rod or a shaker, and if you just close your eyes, you always think about that it could be a drum set. I finish, and again, thank you, my friend Kalani, and this wonderful Drum Club channel, with a small solo, with the hack stick, with my cajon, and also with some movements of my heel against this um, wooden corpus, so the click. And I come up with some Brazil stuff and Cuban stuff and whatever. Have a good time. Thank you so much. Drum Club.